M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel and my learning videos. So I'm tinkering around with my tiny SA. I've got the four inch model, but I actually think that the 2.8 inch model is better value. Uh, it's, it's only about 45 pound. It pretty much does exactly the same thing and less than half the price. So, but anyway, so I've got a USB cable connected into the bottom of the device and I've just plugged it straight in. The software you can find here I'll put the link in, it's this one here. You can see that where it says Python, click, scroll down further than Python, and you'll see that the executable can be downloaded here. Just click that and run it. And you will end up with the program that's in front of us, which is this. Now I did get a bit confused because, I'll just show you. I did select right click device manager here, found the port and I right click and made sure it was 115200, that's all good. Then I came here and I selected COM10 and clicked connect. Nothing really appeared on this screen at all. And I, I noticed that we can change parameters here and start just like you can with the tiny SA. But then I watched a video by a very friendly person called Eric, who I think you have messaged me, Eric, and thank you. I, I am learning bit by bit. So after watching Eric's video, I clicked this camera here at the top and my screen appeared. I do need to spend way more time using this device to properly learn it. But once I had this, then that emulated my tiny SA, which is connected to a, a um, attenuator. And I've set it to minus 40 dB, I believe. Once you get this window, then I could start selecting items just like you can on the actual device. So if I tap the screen, and I'll, I, I know my settings are wrong, but the main thing for this video is to provide a link to download the software and to show you that you can communicate with your device. Uh, I'll just go through some of the settings I did. So I did the frequency. I did start, actually this is not what I set. I set 144.megahertz. Click again. Now, I'm not sure whether it works differently because 144 megahertz. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be changing on there. If I do it on my actual device, let's see what happens. Start 144 megahertz. And um, yeah, I'm not really sure why it's not showing that. Maybe I have to reset it. But it, I, what I, what the, the point of the video to me is the fact that everything that's happening on my device is being emulated so if I go back then go to config level calibrate calibrate it's all happening on the screen there's the calibration happening there so I'm just pleased about that alone okay we can tap that level calibrate we did that let's go back there's my version. Should I do a firmware update? Someone let me know. Brightness there. Let's go back. Display, waterfall. I've, I, I have actually got my UVK5 connected here. I'm just gonna very quickly press it, just quickly. That was like a split second. I don't want to <laughs> burn this out. Um, what else have we got here? LCD display, back, back, trace, we've got that. We can enable different traces, back, storage, load. I mean, it's a fantastic device. It's a lot to learn, but like anything. Marker, config, mode, we did that. I'll keep going back to the same one. Oh no, Spectrum Analyzer, that's the mode we're in. We're not, because this will actually transmit a signal. That spike there is probably one of my hotspots, probably. 
config clear config what else enable ultra ultra mode that's something to learn about isn't it I think there's a password for that I know that the password is no is a public password so I'll end it there obviously I know I don't know anything about what I'm doing but I wanted to show you that these tiny essays plug straight into your PC and start you can control the whole thing once you've pressed that camera it looks like you can record what you're getting up to as well so much more to learn thanks for watching my YouTube channel is me learning devices that I buy not teaching bye for now